This pocket lecture video discusses adenosine triphosphate. Its structure, chemical properties, hydrolysis energy capacity and its synthesis. Adenosine triphosphate or simply known as a TP is an organic compound that provides energy to drive many processes in living cells, such as muscle contraction, nerve impulse propagation, and chemical synthesis, found in all known forms of life. A TP is often referred to as the molecular unit of currency of intracellular energy transfer. When a TP is hydrolyzed to release energy, it is converted either to adenosine biphosphate DP or to adenosine monophosphate MP. Other processes regenerate a TP so that the human body recycles a TP each day. From the perspective of biochemistry, a TP is classified as a nucleoside triphosphate, which indicates that it consists of three components. A nitrogenous base, in this case, adenine, the sugar ribose, and the triphosphate, the other nucleoside triphosphate coenzymes. Guanosine triphosphate or GTP Cytidine triphosphate or CTP and uridyl triphosphate or UTP have similar chemical properties to a TP, but they are used for different tasks in metabolism. The structure of a TP reveals a chain of three phosphate residues is linked to the 5'OH group of the nucleoside adenosine. These phosphate residues are termed alpha, beta, and gamma. The alpha phosphate is bound to ribose by a phosphoric acid ester bond. The linkages between the three phosphate residues on the other hand, involve much more unstable phosphoric acid anhydride bonds. The active coenzyme is in fact generally a complex of a TP within magnesium plus 2 ion, which is coordinatively bound to the alpha and beta phosphates, being polyanemic and featuring a potentially chelating polyphosphate group. A TP binds metal cations with high affinity, the binding of a divalent cation. Almost always magnesium strongly affects the interaction of ATP with various proteins due to the strength of the ATP magnesium plus 2 interaction. ATP exists in the cell mostly as a complex with magnesium plus 2 bonded to the phosphate oxygen centers. How much energy does hydrolysis of ATP release? The hydrolysis energies of ATP can be explained in this way. Cleavage of ATP is strongly exergonic. The free energy change, or delta G, this provides is used to drive endergonic processes like biosynthesis and movement and transport processes through energetic coupling. The formula for phosphate residues shown here with single and double bonds is not an accurate representation of the actual charge distribution. In a TP, the oxygen atoms of all three phosphate residues have similarly strong negative charges, indicated here with orange color while the phosphorus atoms represent centers of positive charge. One of the reasons for the instability of phosphoric anhydride bonds is the repulsion between these negatively charged oxygen atoms, which is partly relieved by cleavage of a phosphate residue. In addition, the free phosphate anion formed by hydrolysis of a TP is better hydrated and more strongly resonance stabilized than the corresponding residue in a TP. This also contributes to the strongly exergonic character of a TP hydrolysis in standard conditions. The change in free energy or delta G that occurs in the hydrolysis of phosphoric acid anhydride bonds amounts to negative 30 to negative 35 kJ per mole at pH 7. The particular anhydride bond of a TP that is cleaved only has a minor influence on free energy change. Even the hydrolysis of diphosphate, also known as pyrophosphate, still yields more than negative 30 kJ per mole. By contrast, cleavage of the ester bond between ribose and phosphate only provides negative 9 kJ per mole. Let us now discuss how a TP is formed. Only a few compounds contain phosphate residues with a group transfer potential that is high enough to transfer them to a DP and thus allow a TP synthesis. Processes that raise inorganic phosphate to this type of high potential are called substrate-level phosphorylation. Reactions of this type take place in glycolysis and in the tricarboxylic acid cycle. Another energy-rich phosphate compound is creatine phosphate which is formed from ATP in muscle and can regenerate ATP as needed. Most cellular ATP does not arise in the way by transfer of phosphate residues from organic molecules to ADP, but rather by oxidative phosphorylation. This process takes place in mitochondria and is energetically coupled to a proton gradient over a membrane. These hydrogen ion gradients are established by electron transport chains and are used by the enzyme ATP synthase also known as complex 5, as a source of energy for direct linking of inorganic phosphate to a DP. In contrast to substrate-level phosphorylation, oxidative phosphorylation requires the presence of oxygen as final electron acceptor, 